Frosty, and today I have a Zerg vs. Zerg battle for you guys to watch. And uh, playing lots of Zerg vs. Zerg, so I thought this was one of the more fun Zerg vs. Zerg. You'll see, I'm saying so much Zerg vs. Zerg. Ah, I just said it again. Anyways, um, I'm playing also a lot of Donkey Kong Country Returns, um, and I pretty much finished it. I think I'll finish it tonight, and I'll make a review on my next video for that if you guys are interested at all. Um, but yeah, I've been off track a little bit because I've been sick, um, but now I'm actually getting back into StarCraft, playing quite a few games a day, hopefully I'm going to make it to Platinum, I'm crossing my fingers, hoping, we'll see. Um, so yeah, now I should have a video every other day, and that's about it, so I'll see you guys in a couple days. Hey everyone, this is Frosty, and today I have a Zerg vs Zerg battle for you guys to watch, and this is on the map Jungle Basin, so... I haven't played in the bed week because I've been a little sick, but now um, I'm kind of getting over it. So this is my first game. It's a Zerg versus Zerg, and I was kind of scared because you know after you're out of it for a week, you you kind of lose those hot keys, and I usually just click around a lot more. So uh, I probably shouldn't like just sit around for a week doing nothing. But we'll see how this goes because I always like. Well, I've been liking Zerg versus Zerg battles a little more than usual now. Actually, looks like here he just put down a nine pool. Um, so that's quite early. I usually don't put a uh, pool down until about 12 or 13. Um, but this is a pretty big, it's a pretty big map, so maybe I can uh, hold him off in time if he's going to be going for a rush here. And I'm going to be in his base scouting, and I just see that uh, spawning pool, and he's now coming over into my base. And um, I've just put down my spawning pool and an extractor. Um, so I'm going to try to be getting some gas out, and it looks like he's just going to be actually putting down a spine crawl out there. And uh, that's not too hard to notice, so I'm going to hopefully destroy that in time. And uh, I'm not going to bother trying to kill him because we're the same speed and uh, just waste some minerals anyway. So here he's put down uh, the spine crawl again. I'm going to attack with three drones this time. And uh, we can see that he's actually going to be sending in uh, <coughs> six zerglings. But I, ha I just threw out six zerglings as well, but it looks like he had a better surround on me, which means that uh, all my zerglings died. So right now, I'm just going to kill off those two Zerglings, run back, hope that all my drones don't die right now. Actually, one drone, okay, now I'm the uh, same amount of drones right now, so we're harvesting the same amount. Um, but he's probably going to kill off that extractor over in his base. He doesn't have an extractor. I'll, um, that's interesting. <laughs> I actually put down the spine crawler because um, some point in that game, he put down the spine crawler, and I was like, I didn't have this drone sitting there, so I was like, ah, I'll just put down the spine crawler see what happens. I didn't think it would actually do anything, but it looks like it actually did, so that's good. Um, it looks like he's actually going to try to attack me with those uh, four Zerkins, but wow. Spine crawlers are really good. Um, and I'm actually going to put down two spine crawlers here. It just has a little bit of defense against all those Zerkins coming in. It looks like he's actually probably going to be destroying... Uh, so, okay, so he actually ended up destroying that one spine crawler, which is 100 minerals gone. That kind of sucks. But I do have about 150 minerals at the time, uh, right now. Um, but I'm not going to be able to kill this spine crawler. It doesn't look like this with those two zerglings. But it, uh, it's not, it's close. It's looking pretty good so far. Uh, we can see over here that he's actually decided to expand in his uh, expansion. Natural, down there. And uh, over here, I'm just actually still attacking his base. It looks like he's not going to be... Uh, Let's see what he's got building. Well, he has uh, four zerglings, but four zerglings can't take on that spine crawler. But uh, I don't know, maybe with the queen. Um, or he can just let me kill his face, that'd be nice. <laughs> um, but here we can see that I just finished off that spine crawler in my base because uh, I don't really like those things hanging around and I uh, didn't want this base to go to waste, so that's 300 minerals I would really like to keep. Um, but over here, I actually put him down into the red now, but it looks like all he's actually making is drones. He has 14 drones, I only have 8, so he's ahead on harvesters. It looks like he's going to actually be sending them down here to be harvest, harvesting those minerals. Um, so I guess he's just going to let me kill his base. So that doesn't seem like the greatest idea because that's 300 minerals gone. Um, yeah, I don't know. And we can see here that I've actually made uh, my waypoint over into his base because I saw that I actually did destroy um, his base, so what I'm going to destroy next is his spawning pool, because then that means he can't build anything. Uh, looking at production, he's actually going to be pumping in as many zerglings right now as he can, because he knows that I'm going to be killing that spawning pool, and he doesn't have another one here, so all he is doing right now is just harvesting a lot of minerals, and uh, that's it. That's all I can do right now. Um, but it looks like, looking at army size, 
wow, we're like dead even right now. <laughs> so that's interesting. Um, so I could run down. I probably could have taken him. I don't know. I don't think I could have taken him. It would have been too risky. So I'm kind of glad I didn't go down there. Sorry if this is a little slower than usual. I'm just taking my time because my voice is kind of sketchy here. And uh, <coughs> I'm just going to fast forward this so we can, <coughs> so we can see that he's actually put down uh, his spawning pool. He's got two gas going up, so maybe he's going to go for mutas all of a sudden. He does have 300 minerals. Um, and I'm just kind of sitting outside his base. And uh, just so I can pop down there, see what he's got going on, and run back up. Um, but this guy looks like he's going to die pretty soon because all that creep's going to go away and I totally forgot about it. Oh well, <laughs> poor little guy. Um, and I just made a whole load of overlords and his overlord might just die from my screen, which is pretty nice because that means he's going to have to make an overlord. He is supply locked right now, which is great for me. And I actually put down a roach worm just to give myself a little bit of a tech advantage because um, they have a lot more armor and uh, yeah they're a lot more fun to use so yeah why not <laughs> and uh, this game what I've decided to do is kinda pull my overlords out of the base because I haven't done this in a long time you know spread them out a little bit and uh, get a little more vision of the map so I'm pretty much gonna spend uh, sorry spread everyone uh, one overlord to each base and see how that goes so it looks like uh, right now looking at income he actually still has a lot of harvesters ahead of me. He's about seven harvesters ahead, so if this keeps going this way, it's not going to be too great for me. Um, looking at let's see, production, um, he's actually got speedlings coming on the way, and so that's it. And I got roaches. Um, looks like he actually has a lot of spine crawlers, though. He has about three spine, spine crawlers. Um, and I don't really want to have to face those spine crawlers because uh, previously we saw how fast they can kill off four zerglings. So I'm just going to run in and see what he's got and uh, just hold back a little bit. It looks like he's actually going to get a spire going up. It looks like it's back here. Spires do take a while though, so maybe I can get it in time. I'm not too sure. Um, so I'm going to charge back here. This is where the spine crawlers can't reach. Um, they might have done a little bit of damage, but they won't have done that much. And I'm going to kill off this spire, which is going to be really nice for me. And. Uh, it looks like he can't really do too much of his post looking at income. I have taken off a lot of his shows. He said he had about 23 and now he's done 9, so uh, this looks like it's pretty much about game. Unless he decides to just fend off with all the spine colors, because that is a lot of spine colors. But hopefully I can get this guy before he burrows. Oh, oh no, I couldn't quite get him before he was burrow, but I, I, um, I tried quite hard. And it uh, looks like that's the end of the game. And that was a pretty fun game because, you know, at first I thought I'd totally lose because I was like, what a pathetic loss, but uh, I ended up actually doing well. Hey, I actually somehow, uh, for some reason, boosted a queen. Oh, I think I boosted an extra queen to heal this base because I didn't want it to die. Anyways, <laughs> that's the game for today, and I'm going to try to get another video out in a couple of days. I don't know when that's going to be. That will be New Year's, so we'll see. Um, I guess you'll see a new video in the new year. 2011, and I'll see you guys very soon. Alright, bye-bye.